With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, a bag contains 5 white and 4 black balls. Another bag contains 7 white and 9 black balls. A ball is drawn from the first bag. Two balls drawn from the second bag. What is the probability of drawing one white and two black balls? So, let's start. So, first of all, we know that our bag A contains and we have also bag B. We know that our bag A contains four black balls and five white balls. And our bag B contains 7 white and 9 black balls. So now, how many total balls bag A contains? We know that total box, balls that bag A contains that will be equals to 9. And total balls that bag B contains that will be equals to 9 plus 7 we have 16. So now what we have to be find out? We have to be find out the probability of drawing one white ball and two black balls. So now, we have two cases in which we can say our required probability there is an important point what is the point point is our question did not say that from which bag we have to be select so now for that we have two cases first case we have to select one white two black balls from our bag a then in second case then we have to select our one white ball and two black ball in second bag and then we add the sum of both probability then we get our required probability. So now if we take one white ball from the bag A and two black ball from the bag A also so we have 5 by 9 into it can be written as 9 C2 divided by 16 C2 because we have to select one white and two black balls from bag A. Now if we select one white and two black balls from bag B, then our required probability we have 4 by 9 multiply with the 7 C1 into 9 C1 that will be divided with we have 16 C2. So now from here, we know that we have an important point and the point is we know that our NCR we have a formula that will be equals to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So now after solving this we have it will be equal to 5 by 9 into we can write it as 9 into 8 that will be divided by 16 C2 after solving this we have 16 into 15 plus from here we have 4 by 9 we know that 7 C1 after solving this we have 7 9 C1 after solving this we have we have 9 and that will be divided with we have 16 C2 we have 8 into 15 after solving this we have it will be equals to 9 will be cancelled out and finally it will be equals to 1 by 6 plus here 9 will be cancelled out 4 cancel out 8 at 2 so it will be equals to 7 by 15 into 2 we have 30 so we have 7 by 30 so now after solving this it will be finally equals to 5 plus 7 that will be divided by 30 that will be equals to 12 by 30 after solving it will be equal to 2 by 5. We can say this will be our required probability and our final answer of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.